Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can add a Python interpreter in Visual Studio Code and how you can run Python files. First, to set up a Python interpreter in Visual Studio Code, you need to install Python in your system. So we'll go ahead and install Python now. If you already have Python installed, you can just skip a few seconds. If you don't have Python installed, just follow along. Go to this URL. I'll have this link in the description below. Hover over downloads and you'll be able to see the latest Python version here. Just click on it and the installer will download. Once the installer has successfully downloaded, just click on open file and the installation wizard will open. Here, click on this add python.exe to path. Make sure you don't forget this and click on install now. So as you can see, the installation of Python has started. Let's wait till the installation is complete and then we will go back to our Visual Studio code and add this Python interpreter. After a while, you'll see this message that says setup was successful. Now just click on close. And let's verify if Python has been successfully installed. So press your Windows key and type CMD, hit enter. And if you type Python double dash version, you'll be able to see the latest installed Python version. Now we can close this and add this to VS Code. So open your VS Code and first go to extensions by clicking this button right here or just press the shortcuts Control Shift X together and your extensions will open up. Now search for Python. You'll see a bunch of options here. We will install this one that is from Microsoft itself. Click on this. This is the Python language support for VS Code. And if you scroll down, as you can see, it says step one, install a supported version of Python, which we have already done, and then install this extension and then create a Python file. So click on install and this extension will be installed. So once this extension has been installed, you can go to your files and let's create a new file. Click on file, click on new file. And here you will see the option Python. Click on Python and let's write some Python code. Let's just say print hello world. Now let's save it somewhere. So press Ctrl S to save it. And I'll just save it in desktop. And I'll just say hello, hit save. And now we have this Python file. If you look down here, it's saying select interpreter because we have not yet selected a Python interpreter for VS Code. So click here and you will be shown this Python version that we have just installed. So you can click on this and everything will be fine. But if you don't see this, click on enter interpreter path and just click on find and go to wherever you have installed your Python version. By default, it is inside C drive, inside the users folder, inside your current username and scroll down. You'll see a folder called app data. Go inside app data, inside local and then inside programs, inside Python. Finally, you'll see this Python version here. Go inside this. And you can click on select interpreter here also if you don't see an interpreter by just clicking on this. Okay, so I've clicked on this. And now as you can see, Python version is shown here and we have our code. To run this, now you can just click on this button here that says run Python file. Click on this. And as you can see, hello world is printed. So now you can successfully create Python files and run it in your Visual Studio code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.